Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. This photo I took this morning with my iPhone, and I'm editing it in this video on my computer with On1 360. If you'd like to take an image using On1 360 with your phone, first open the On1 Photo app. Now, when I open the app on the lower left-hand side where you see RAW, tap on that, and you'll have the choice of shooting JPEG, HEIC, or RAW. I'm going to stay with RAW. On the right-hand side where that M is, if I tap on that, I have the choice of many auto camera settings or manual settings. I could set them myself. I'm going to stay with my manual settings. Now once I have my settings done, I could frame up my image. And when I'm ready to take the photo, just tap on the shutter on the right hand side. Once the image is taken or you take a number of images, go back to the main menu by clicking that little left arrow uh, key in the bottom left hand corner. Once you're back to the main menu, if you tap on the little atomic icon in the top right hand corner, you'll get the status of whether or not the images are syncing. Once they completely sync to the On1360 cloud, you could edit them on any device, not just your phone. Once they sync, I could edit them on my iPad, or on my desktop computer, or on my MacBook computer. That's what we're going to do in this video. Uh, this image has synced, and we're going to edit it on my computer. All right, I'm back home and I'm on my desktop computer. It's an iMac and I'm going to open on one photo raw 2020. And once I open on one photo raw 2020, uh, you'll see on the left hand side that my phone will be over there. And once it uh, opens and shows the phone, it will sync that image that I took. Okay, there's my phone, Anthony's iPhone XS Max, and I'll click on that, and you'll see that it's a little blurry right now. That's indicating, actually, that it's syncing, and it's in its folder, and we'll let it do its syncing. And you can see there it is right there, and if you're ready and you want to edit it, you could go right over to the Edit tab over here on the right-hand side, and there's the image I took, and you could see that it's not that great of an image, but we could... Uh, we could edit it nonetheless uh, from this point forward on my desktop. And any edits I do to it will get synced to the cloud and those edits will be then reflected on my phone and, and my tablet as well. So we'll just do some basic edits to this real quick. Open mid-tones a little bit, open up shadows a touch. I'm gonna get a white point, hold in the J key, back it off, and get a black point. Right about there looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just add some saturation. We'll go to details. We'll add uh, some sharpening, some noise reduction. And I think what I'll do real quick, though, is I'll straighten it. So I'm going to go to the crop tool like that and come outside and just straighten it up a little bit like that and apply that and then we'll go over to the FX and I'm going to add my favorite dynamic contrast to the image and we're going to add a vignette uh, to the image as well let's look at strong strong is too strong big softy is way too big and softy so we'll bring the size down like that yeah, something like that, I guess. And that's it. That's really as simple as it is. You could take some raw files with your smartphone using the On One Photo app, have those images sync to the cloud, then those image will, will, images will sync to your computer or your uh, tablet, and you could edit them there if you like. Now, as I mentioned, these edits are... Uh, syncing as we speak and they'll be available on my phone and my tablet as well. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.